Hello! Today we're gonna be making Hello Kitty dessert. Do the Hello Kitty cake. Okay. Then we're gonna do the Hello Kitty chocolate molds. And then last, we're gonna do the matte Are you excited like I am? I am not a professional baker. Every time I've tried to bake something, I have failed. You know why? Because I go off on my own way and be like, you know what? I'm gonna make it a little bit me. Special. Different. Where it goes wrong. Terribly wrong. Hopefully, I won't butcher this cake. And it'll be amazing, fantastic, and everything that I've never made. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Something magical. Something you eat it and you'll be like, oh, not too sweet. It's amazing. That's what I want to hear. My goal is for people to be like, oh, it's soft, it's fluffy, it is not too sweet, it is amazing. That's what I want to hear. Never heard it in my life, and that's my goal for today, okay? So, I have done some research, and um, I'm gonna follow a vegan recipe and a non-vegan recipe. I'm gonna go wash all these puppies up, and I'll be back. The recipe is from Loving It Vegan. I'll link the uh, recipe down below. Basically, I just pre-measured everything out. So I'm gonna get the flour. I'm a little nervous, but I'm done with the cake batter now. It looks like peanut butter, to be honest. Look, look at this. Woo! Thick is, try to follow the instructions. If this recipe is wrong, I am gonna expose this recipe, all right? Not good. You guys will know. We got our mold, and now I'm just gonna oil it up, you know? Don't be nasty. All right, so I got my handy dandy silicone brush. I'm gonna on all over it, okay? Okay. Ooh, it looks a little thickamous. I mean, besides the fact that it looks like a peanut butter, it looks pretty good. Let's stick that in my mouth. This recipe turns out well, and it's a, like successful. I'll never again, never stray from the recipe ever again if this turns out good. But if it does not turn out good, that's when you know, you know, I'm gonna be straying off the recipe from now on and there's no turning back. It's just the way of life. One time it goes wrong, not stray from the recipe. And in that instance, did it turn out good? You know, that's when you're like, well, that didn't end well, so um, I'm going back to my old ways. You know. Okay, all right, let's put it in. Let's put it in the oven. It's going in. Any last words you want to say before we send the cake? I hope you are tasty, and I wish for you to be amazing. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we're going in. Please be good, please be good, please be good. 25 to 30 minutes. All right, 25 to 30 minutes. I'm feeling kind of nervous about that recipe. You use distilled vinegar or apple cider vinegar. And apple cider vinegar has a distinct taste and smell. And I was curious, so I did what my heart told me to do, use apple cider vinegar. So I'm kind of nervous. It hasn't risen. It's gonna be a flat cake. So, I'll let you guys know. Stay tuned. We'll see. So it's, it's rising by the light. My reputation. 
reputation is on the line. People at my small group think I can cook well, okay? So I need this to turn out well. Oh. Alright, the anxiety, it's getting down to the last seven minutes of this thing and I'm getting nervous, real nervous. <sighs> It's clean. No batter. This is a clean hole. It's cracked crazily everywhere, but that's okay. It does look whole. It looks like hard top. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let it cool off, and then I will flip it. On to the little paperboard. Oh, this smells like cake. Oh. Alright, All right, so that's the cake batter for the second one. The only thing that I did differently was add some more buttercream, which I mean buttermilk. Dude, this is this is gonna be a thick boy. Look at this. With all that being done, I am pooped and it's time to eat lunch. So I'm gonna go eat my lunch. It's a good old candy candy, if you know what I'm saying. All right, I am going to eat my lunch. It's a good old fashioned panda espresso. The honey walnut shrimp with the sizzling shrimp. And the fried rice. Chef's kiss. Mm. Oh my gosh. messing up this whole project but um it's a little too sweet for me so I put lemon zest in there and I'm gonna try putting lemon juice in there to try to acidify some of that Mm. It's actually pretty good. Okay, I don't hate it. Is it a little runny? Yes. It
Okay, so if I had followed the recipe, um, the icing would have not been so runny. Um, and, you know, it would have been okay. But honestly, I think the icing tastes better like this. I added more soy milk, more butter, and I added lemon zest and a lemon. So it actually tastes really good. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge. Hopefully it'll like harden up a little bit. Pretty cooked. Yeah, I would say that's pretty cooked. It, yeah, it's pretty cooked to me. Right, I'm gonna let it get some rest and then I'm gonna slice it, these babies, in the microwave. 30 seconds on a time. Alright, let's go. Check it. Right about here is where I should do this. Alright, I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, pray for the best. Don't fork it up, Jen. Right, I'm gonna lift the cake and can you hold this? And then you're gonna inch it in, okay? As I lift. Do the thing? Right, no, right. Lift. Yeah, take it over there. Yes. Okay. All right. The cake is done. Let's get out. Mmm. I tasted a cake like that before. Oh. How does that taste like cornbread? It's just like a sweet cornbread. Interesting cake, man. Interesting cake. All right. Did I fork it up? Probably, but I think it'll be okay. I think it's a success. I'm just gonna put some ice in there. Have it absorb some of the icing on the cake. I don't want it to go too out because I feel like it's gonna go squat. Okay, that's what I don't want to happen. Okay. I think I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator.
trying to reference this photo because I can no longer see anything on Hello Kitty. So. more like a knockoff Hello Kitty, but I don't hate it. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Alright, clean up some of those imperfections. Like, it's like a necklace. It's a heart Hello Kitty necklace. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at this. This is a non-vegan cake, and this is a vegan cake. I'll link the recipes down below. But Alright, thanks for joining me on my Hello Kitty extravaganza and see you next time. Bye! Contemplating whether this is going to turn out good or not. Not sure here, okay. I'm getting a little bit amped. Can do this Hello Kitty cake. Hello Kitty cake. The reason why I didn't tell people I'm bringing a cake and some goodies is because what if I fork it up and it's not good? It would have been a little different, is what I'm saying, okay? The regular cake now. Let's go. Should I add more? Nope. No. I'm not going to stray away from the recipe. Not today. Nope. Please, please be good. It tastes like the ones at the vegan bakery. I added to the, re the recipe because I didn't like the vanilla, so I made it lemon. Again? Uh, like, uh, uh, uh. You're gonna make me make vegan cakes from now on for your birthday, huh? Yeah, Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. Alright. Okie dokie. Wrong way. Oh!